This is Uranium Spotlight on Tuesday, April 9, 2024. And this week we cover positive news for uranium prices from NextGen, Paladin, and Boss Energy. Brought to you by PurePoint Uranium Group and their recently announced uranium discovery with joint venture partners Chemico and Arano. With continuous drilling throughout 2024 across their extensive uranium portfolio, PurePoint's potential is clear. And now your host, Chris Frostad. This week on Uranium Spotlight, we see production delays and production starts while a ship carrying Russian uranium fuel gets held up in Germany. Last week, the uranium spot price saw a slight uptick, moving from $87 to $88.75 per pound U-308. Amidst ongoing concerns about uranium mine production, Russian EUP shipments, and market reactions, the spot price remained relatively quiet. However, there were notable movements in uranium equities, with some stocks rising following a positive financial outlook report by a leading investment bank. The Sprott Physical Uranium Trust, or SPOT, even briefly returned to a premium over its net asset value, allowing it to raise funds for a new uranium spot price purchase. Although SPOT's share price later retreated to a discount, it still managed to secure over half of the purchased volume for the week. In terms of spot market activity, four transactions were confirmed, all involving prompt delivery within zero to three months. The week started with no transaction activity, but by Wednesday, the first transaction was confirmed at $88.75 a pound. Despite bids and offers adjusting on Thursday, the price indicator remained unchanged, ending the week at $88.75 a pound. Meanwhile, activity in the term uranium market remained quiet, with no reported new formal utility demand or contract awards. However, utilities continue to evaluate offers for future delivery, indicating ongoing interest in the term market. NextGen Energy hit a roadblock with its RIC-1 uranium mine project located in Canada's Athabasca Basin. Despite the company's soaring stock and uranium prices, federal regulators have halted development. Such projects are crucial to bridging the supply gap in the uranium market. When projects like RIC-1 face delays due to environmental concerns, the supply gap widens, exacerbating the shortage of uranium. The price of uranium surged to $106 a pound last February, doubling in just one year. Countries worldwide are turning to nuclear energy to reduce carbon emissions and enhance energy independence. Although the price has cooled in recent weeks, investors remain optimistic. Uranium prices are likely to keep rising, given that China and Russia have already secured substantial amounts from Kazakhstan, the world's leading uranium producer. Meanwhile, Russia's involvement in Ukraine has led Western nations to consider banning its uranium exports. This compounds the challenges faced by top producers like Cameco and Kazataprom, who struggle to meet production targets amid increasing demand and dwindling stockpiles. The federal regulators' concerns about Rook 1 primarily revolve around water quality in the nearby lake and the underground tailing storage system. While NextGen insists these issues were addressed and approved by the provincial regulator earlier, the federal hold underscores the regulatory hurdles involved in uranium mining. NextGen stock prices surged from $4.89 to $11.48, reaching a market value of $6.92 billion. CEO Lee Cryer remains confident, assuring investors that the regulatory questions are manageable and that the project enjoys strong community support. However, any delay in bringing new mines online prolongs the period of supply deficit in the uranium market, further driving up prices. Despite NextGen's reassurances, the potential for prolonged delays underscores the urgency of addressing supply shortages in the uranium market. Last week, the Atlantic Navigator 2, a vessel managed by Canadian company CISN and flying the flag of the Marshall Islands, encountered propeller damage and made an unexpected stop in the German port of Rostock. On board, along with Birchwood, was a shipment of enriched uranium bound for the United States. Now, while uranium and nuclear fuel are currently exempt from sanctions in both the U.S. and the EU, it's a different story for timber products like Birchwood, which are subject to EU sanctions. The delay in delivering the nuclear fuel to its destination could have repercussions on near-term uranium prices. If there's a holdup, replacements for that fuel will need to be sourced elsewhere. German authorities are still investigating the situation, and they haven't decided yet whether any sanctions violations have occurred. Meanwhile, in the U.S., there's no current sanction on uranium. 
However, there's a ban on Russian uranium that has passed the House of Representatives and is stuck in the Senate due to Senator Ted Cruz's unrelated concerns. As small modular reactors advance, there's growing interest in their versatile applications. SMRs offer advantages like smaller size, lower construction costs, and the ability to provide carbon-free baseload energy 24-7. In a recent development, the oil and gas industry is exploring the use of nuclear reactors for electricity supply. Indian Oil Corp. Limited and Diamondback Energy are leading the way. Indian Oil, a government-controlled entity in India, is in talks with Nuclear Power Corp. of India Limited to integrate SMRs into its refineries, aiming to cut emissions. Other Indian companies like NTPC Limited and Oil and Natural Gas Corp. Limited are also eyeing nuclear solutions. In the U.S., Diamondback Energy has partnered with Oklo Inc., a nuclear startup, to deploy SMRs for clean power in its oil fields once Oklo's reactors are operational. Meanwhile, the realm of space exploration presents another frontier for SMRs. Experts recognize that for a lunar base to survive the two-week-long lunar night with temperatures plummeting to extreme lows, solar panels won't suffice. Nuclear reactors emerge as the most viable option for a continuous supply of heat and electricity. Companies like Westinghouse, with its Astro Vinci SMR, are among those being considered for lunar missions. In recent years, the uranium market has experienced a notable recovery, with long-term contract prices soaring from a low of $30 five years ago to $75 a pound U308, and spot prices surging over 300% from $21 to $88.75 a pound. This resurgence is driving significant developments in the production of uranium. Last month, Encore Energy Corp., recognized as America's clean energy company, achieved a landmark by commencing its first shipment of uranium from the Rosita Central Processing Plant. This milestone underscores the company's commitment to addressing the critical shortage of domestic uranium supply and fueling nuclear energy. With esteemed guests like former U.S. Secretary of Energy Rick Perry emphasizing the importance of domestic uranium production, Encore's achievement marks a significant step towards meeting America's energy needs. Additionally, Paladin Energy Limited and Boss Energy Limited have also hit milestones in uranium production. Paladin announced last week the commencement of uranium concentrate production at the Langer Heinrich Mine, marking a pivotal moment in returning this globally significant mine to production. With a strong balance sheet and support of uranium fundamentals, Paladin is well positioned to support sustainable returns. Meanwhile, Boss Energy successfully passed the final technical milestone in its honeymoon restart strategy, paving the way for the first drum of uranium to be filled in the next two weeks. This achievement reflects Boss Energy's commitment to increasing production rates and reducing operating costs, ultimately enhancing the project's economics. As production activities ramp up at these mines, the industry is poised for further growth, signaling a promising future for uranium production and nuclear energy. And that wraps up your Uranium Spotlight coverage for this week. For more news and events from the world of uranium, please tune in next week to Uranium Spotlight. You've been listening to Uranium Spotlight, your weekly podcast dedicated to delivering the latest news and events shaping the uranium fuel market and its critical role in the global energy landscape. Brought to you by PurePoint Uranium Group. PurePoint actively operates a portfolio of advanced uranium projects in the world's richest uranium district and has established partnerships with some of the largest uranium suppliers worldwide. While our passion for this subject is undeniable, it's essential to clarify that the information presented here is not investment advice. Instead, our goal is to offer an unbiased and comprehensive review of recent events that could impact uranium prices. Join us again next Tuesday for Uranium Spotlight, 